Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play Human Resource Machine. Reporting for duty. To the littlest number. Year 23. To reduce our carbon footprint, management is requesting the smallest numbers only. This is a public relations exercise. The results are going straight to the landfill. For each zero terminated string in the inbox, send, the out send to the outbox the smallest number you've seen in that string. You will never be given an empty string. Reset and repeat for each string. Interesting. If you want to buy a sandwich, and there are 10 sandwiches listed on the menu, and you don't have much money because of poor financial decisions, how do you find the least expensive sandwich? Don't ask me. I bring my own lunch. Peanut butter and jelly. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically, we're going to take a number from the inbox. Wow. Holy shit. All right, so what we need to do basically is subtract the pre number from its from the from the previous number. If it's negative, it's bigger, get rid of it. If it's not, throw it to the floor. All right. Take a number from the inbox, copy it to 0. Take a number from the inbox. Copy it to one. Now we have both numbers from the inbox. Savvy? Subtract one from zero. Actually, it's zero from one. It's the floor from what you're holding. So I'm subtracting zero from one. If it's negative. can't do this. Oh yeah, I just go to a third number. I just go to a second spot. No, that's fine. It's fine. It will never be an empty sing. So we'll get to zero case in a second. So if the number is negative, so I've subtracted zero, um, zero from what, what I'm holding. Damn it. Yes. So I'm subtracting zero from what I'm holding. So if zero minus one no, if 1 minus 0 is negative, 1 minus 0, I need to write this down. I'm going to call it A and B. If A minus B equals negative, that means A is smaller than B. There, then A is smaller than B. We want the smallest number? We want the smallest number. So if it's negative, copy A copy from A copy to two. Twos are going to be our number. Then if it's not, copy from one copy to two. Actually, get rid of that and just jump. Jump to there. Because we're going to copy from one of those two places and then go. All right, then we're just going to go. Go back to the beginning. Now, we're never going to have null terminated, so the first number is never going to be zero. If the second number is zero, copy from two into the outbox, start over. I hope our target number was 15. What's our target? 13. That's okay. If it's 75 steps or fewer, I'll be happy. Well, that's not good. Did I get it backwards then? What are our first two numbers? Eight and ten. Okay. Eight goes there. Ten goes there. It's not negative. Yeah, I just got it backwards. Okay. Move that here. Move this here.
I'm confused. Jump back to the beginning. Oh god. You gotta do comparisons, but oh, fine. Okay, so I'm leaning back for a second. If it's zero, you have to do one more comparison and then stop. So if the number is zero, so stop. So if that number is zero, you've gotta go back in. Because if it's an odd number of things... Christ, because you still have to compare them. Oh my god. Get rid of this for a second. Right, it's negative, so it goes there, copies from one, throws into there, and then we back to the start, which is not right. Alright, let's do the let's do the case where the second number is zero because we already know what's gonna happen. If it's zero Copy from one subtract zero if it's negative if negative jump up to here otherwise it's not negative jump up to here that should do Fudge. That's not it. Uh, got a copy from one. Compare it to its own. So we're going to put five, 15, compares, so five goes in there. Two, we found a zero. So now I have to compare, I have to copy from two. Actually, I could have left it there. High chance. Copy from two, subtract zero. If it's negative, copy from one. So copy from two. If it's positive, copy from zero. That's right. Way too many steps. Nope. So if, if the first one is zero, if this first one is zero, copy from two and we're out. It's right. Ha! Of course, of course it does. You are a son of a bitch. Yes, Chance. He's a son of a bitch. Well, you're right. That is mean. I shouldn't say that. All right. Let's see what fails. This is as expected. You are correct, because I'm not comparing it to the previous number. Yep, alright. 
You're right, fancy man. All right, so here's the deal. We gotta get a number. We gotta throw it on the floor. We're gonna get a second number. We're gonna throw that on the floor also. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, what I'm basically doing is setting up the first number with a zero. And then I'm gonna throw this on the floor. Then I'm going to subtract it like I did before. If it's negative... I don't remember what happens. If it's negative what? If it's negative... Then... What I had... In my hand? What I had in my hand... Was bigger. So if it's negative... Copy from 4... Copy to zero. Otherwise, jump. If it's zero, copy from zero, throw it in the outbox, jump. That scares me because it's 13 commands. I'm expecting it to fail. Yep, excellent. Because every time it resets. Oh snap, because it didn't it didn't loop. It's gotta loop until you find a zero. This has gotta jump back to here as well. So actually this is a period where I need to do if it's negative, do this and do this, no matter what we're gonna jump. Damn it! So close. Should have saved the 10. We got lucky there. Why didn't it save the 10? Look like this. The zero was the problem, it saved the zero. Oh, because it was just lucky. Hello. Hi. I'm doing math. When I'm done doing this math, I will come hang out. <sighs> it's complicated. Well, the math is simple. The program is complicated. Yes, Chance, I know. So we have, we get our number, we throw it into zero. So 
So that's a command too many and it doesn't work with everything. It just goes forever. What the hell? Oh, I put it in the wrong spot, that's why. Ha! Hilarious. Yay! Boo! We have to get at least one. So... This is the basics of it. I feel like it's just a matter of the fact that we have these two jumps, and we don't need two jumps. We want one jump. Man, this is a frustrating one. So, inbox, I'm gonna throw it on the floor, take the next one, if it's zero, we're done. Unless it's the only thing, then it won't work. Which I'm surprised it didn't yell at me for. We copy the second one to the box if it's not zero. We subtract it, if it's negative, we take this and make it the new lowest. Otherwise we just go back to the top. Somehow this has got to be... So if you copy it to four... See, the problem is I can't... Oh, well, I could. So, forget that. Take the number, subtract zero. If it's negative... can't do this. We need to add zero. Copy to zero. It's the same number of commands. Oh no, it's not. It's 13. Wow. It's just that simple. Huh. We did them both. Nice. Small divide. Oh no, mod module. Can't wait for this. How many hours of work can you fit in one day? Well, if you ask my bosses. Not enough! There's always a sad remainder of unworked hours. Good thing we have those optional night shifts to cram in more. For every two things in the inbox, outbox the remainder that we result if you had divided the first by the second. Christ almighty. Don't worry, you don't actually have to divide. And don't worry about negative numbers for now. Yes, I can tell you are an enterprising worker. I haven't been home in about 25 years either. For every two things in the outbox, outbox the remainder if you divided the first by the second. Holy shit. So let's just make sure... 7 divided by 3 is 2. Which gives you a remainder of 1. Alright, I got it. So you take your inbox number. 
You can throw that on the floor. You can take your outbox number. You can just subtract it from your inbox number. If it's negative, we're gonna add it back in. Throw it in the outbox. I don't think this is right. Go back to the top. If it's not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong command. If it's not, go back here and do it again. Oops, go back here and do it again. I don't think this is gonna work. Did I have two in my hands? I had negative two. make negative 2 positive 2. I multiply it by negative 1, but I can't do that. Copy it and bump it twice? Yeah. If it's negative... Copy it to 2. Add it to 2. Add it to two. Yep, that makes sense. So I need to subtract it. Subtract it makes it zero. And subtract it again because you subtracted negative two. Yeah, yeah. God damn it! <sighs> All right, you know, scrap this whole thing. How do you divide without dividing? Take number one, throw it to the floor. Let's just do this with throwing things to the floor. Take number two, throw it to the floor. Can we not do that, please? Throw it to the floor. Copy from zero. Subtract one. This is where I want to go, if it's negative. Do with the things, if it's not negative, do it again. If it is negative, throw it to the floor, subtract it twice, throw it in the outbox, get back to the beginning. 13? 12. Well. Expected zero! If it's zero, it's on the outbox. You know what? Uh, man, I'll give it one more go and then we're gonna just leave this for next time. I'm gonna have to think on this one. Because if we go zero divided by anything. So if the first number is zero, log it and get rid of the next number. All right? If the first number is zero,
outbox it. Get the number from the inbox. Go back to the start. Seven divided by two is three with a remainder of one. Wait, what? Because the second number is... Oh my god. So what are you expecting? What are you talking about? So if I divide 2 into 7, there is no remainder. It's just fracking nothing. It's a... Fr it, mm, <laughs> because what you're suggesting then is I have to see which number is bigger. And if the second number is smaller, then just return the first number. So what you're suggesting is I take a number, throw it in, take the second number, subtract it from zero. No, because I have to save it. I have to save it. Copy it to the floor. No, I don't. I can add it back in. Get out of here. Get the frack out of here. Subtract it from zero. I, try, I subtract the floor from what I'm holding. Floor from what I'm holding. So if it's not negative, that means the number I'm holding is bigger. Copy from zero. Throw it in the outbox. Start over. Otherwise. Add to zero. Copy it to one. How do you, you do this in 12 fucking steps? <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. And then I do the whole rest of my program. This is insane. We should never be slow, ever. Did we at least start with eight and two? Okay. Seriously. All right, so I have the, I have the correct number of things. Rebuilding what I had before, basically. true 
Well, now you just add one and go. This does not look right. That's crazy. All right, we got the speed part right. That's enough. We got two. So uh, next time, cumulative countdown in the small divide, hopefully, and we'll pick up those other dots along the way in the future. It seemed nearly impossible, and yet it proved not to be. I should never have doubted in my life. For now, though, we're out of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay updated to everything that happens. And until next time, cheers. Thank <laughs> you.